Okay, so we're here with Abby in the workshop. Now, Abby, just tell us, we've got a couple of trombone legs. What's going on? Yes, this is the inner slide from a bark bass trombone, and there is something lodged inside the leg, probably about midway. Um, it came in, uh, The I think they've been trying to swab it through, basically, trying to do the right thing, and the, a little piece of cloth has come off of their tr slide cleaning rod. And um, and in the efforts of trying to get it in and out, uh, they kind of they've bulged the legs slightly, uh, damaged the slide a little bit. But luckily, we can get spare parts for this. So we've ordered in a new leg tube. So what I need to do now is remove this leg, align and solder this leg on, and then just kind of set up the slide. Uh, it's a bit of a drastic way to solve what should be quite a straightforward problem, but it is so unbelievably stuck and compacted. So. If we have a look, I'll try and show. We can see down that one. Yeah. If we look down here, it's completely blocked. Complete blockage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we see this quite a lot with woodwind pull-throughs. It's quite unusual to have something stuck in a brass instrument to this extent. But with pull-throughs, um, if you just keep trying and you keep trying to pull it and pull it and pull it through, you can just end up bunching it up and end up in the very similar situation. We find the best thing to do is stop immediately and to try and get it out the way it came in. Uh, that would that would help kind of going forward. It would just stop it getting any worse, basically. But this is just to an extreme that I've not seen before. So new leg is necessary, unfortunately. Okay, yeah. well, we'll come back when you're taking that one off. Yeah, cool. And then we'll see how you attach the new one. Okay, so we just... Un we're heating this up to take that leg off, presumably. Yeah, yeah, just starting. It's going to take quite a lot of heat to get this off, and there's a number of different components here. So I'm kind of just testing the water, going to see what might fall off. Um, this stay could come unattached. This receiver could come unattached. But in in terms of getting the leg out, that's my priority. And then I can kind of realign everything when it's back together. It does take an awful lot of heat though, because we've got a lot of material here, and in trying to get the solder to flow. You can just you can be doing this for a long time and everything gets very hot. Um, the leg's also quite a nice tight push fit, which doesn't make life any easier when you're trying to get it off. It'll start to spin at some point, and then I know that the solder's gone, and then I can uh, get cleaning up. That's going to be the next big challenge. Okay. Well, maybe we'll come back when it's off. Yeah. And uh, see the prep for the addition of the yeah. new leg. Well. We're just pulling out what was in there, which, as you can see, is fairly well stuck and <laughs> it's, it's fairly long. Oh, it's a nice uh, pattern on there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey. Yeah, it's extremely dense. And that's why things get stuck in slides. Yeah, I would argue that this piece of cloth was far too big to go up there in the first place. We tend to use bits that are about 10 centimetres squared or less. So any advice to trombone players, that's too big. <laughs> so, new leg is in. I've kind of, I've cleaned up all of these other components and uh, fluxed them all up. You can see here that the new leg has a slight kind of overhang. This is quite a nice thing they do so that you've got a bit of wiggle room just in case there's any problems during this part um, but what this tool helps me do is to line up the inner and outer because obviously soldering a whole new tube here you could end up with things not being central so this gives me quite a nice opportunity to get it all really jigged up before we go so you can see all of this flux around all of these various joints this paste is going to help the solder to run and this part um, is all just soft solder so this is going to be the quick part I think the idea typically with soldering is you spend about three times as long getting things all ready before you actually start doing it, but this should be the nice easy part now. <laughs> we'll see. And again, because there's quite a lot of thick parts going on here, it's going to need quite a lot of heat. It's starting to go already. You should be able to see it just there. You drag that solder down into the tube as well so it makes it even more stable. Oh. 
So, new leg is on, solder joints are all done. At this point, it's just clean up really. Again, the clean up usually ends up taking kind of three times as long as any of the actual work, the soldering work, but it, it's kind of the most satisfying part for me. Uh, once the solder joints are all done, you can kind of scrape around all these edges, make them nice and clean. And um, yeah, just get it up to kind of as bright mirror finish as you can. There's no lacquer on these parts now, in comparison to this part, has got lacquer on it still. But once it's all mirror finish, you can't really tell the difference, and that's the idea, is to kind of try and blend it and make it look original like it was supposed to be there, or like nothing's changed, is kind of what I'm aiming for. Uh, yeah, it seems to have gone quite well, I think. So, new leg on, everything central and aligned, so we have a functioning slide. A little bit dirty in there, I'll probably give it a wash through, but in general, success.